All right, man, let's talk about the Detroit Lions. Uh, kicker Michael Badgley went down. Um, I forget the other kicker they had, and they sent, the, they sent another kicker away. It was Badgley, and they picked up Bates. I think that's his name. It's Jake Bates uh, from the USFL, Michigan Panthers. I think he played soccer in high school. Um, you know, today is, what, Friday, July the 26th. He kicked uh he made was five for five in practice today. A couple fifty yarders as well too, but you just gotta know how you're gonna react in an actual NFL game. I remember the Chargers, if you didn't know this, they had young Hoku. Great kicker down there with the Atlanta Falcons, and they had him and he wasn't producing early on and they got rid of him and he developed into a stud. You know? They still got kicker problems, and sometimes you got to be patient with kickers, you know. But he did a great job of kicking in the XFL or the USFL, and he did an excellent job in the playoff game. They had he had them, I think, all of their points kicking. So, I mean, what time? But you don't know in an NFL game pressure situation, especially kicking in the in the outdoors, kicking in the snow kicking in the rain so you don't know the different you know situations and the pressure of the game so those are things that they got to work through i mean badgley was all right you know i don't think he was nothing to write home about they kind of subtly caught the cut that patterson guy and i'm surprised they didn't bring him back so I, i'm surprised that that what was his name riley patterson i'm surprised they didn't bring him back honestly um yeah i'm a little shocked that he didn't get brought back yeah, I'm a lot of shocked that he didn't get brought back. You know? Um, so that was a little shocking to me that he didn't get an opportunity to, uh, you know, he didn't get an opportunity to really show what he can do. Um, but, you know, overall... You know, he was making kicks. Maybe it was a locker room thing. Maybe it was a confidence thing. They didn't feel very confident in him. So I, I can't call it. But, uh, you know, so they brought in some kickers I never heard of, about four of them. So they're going to make Jake Bates win that job and compete for that job. And, um, you know, so they gonna make him compete and wait for that and play for that job, and they should. They should be handing to him two days in the training camp, and he got the job. And he ain't prove nothing. Go out there and beat somebody. Badgley apparently tore uh, tore his hamstring, so he ain't just strain it or, or you know nothing minor. He tore it. So I don't know what type of kicking he was doing. He was trying his hardest in the competition, I would guess. So he tore that hoe off the bone. So, um, but you know, everybody would say, "Well, Bates won the job. Bates won the job. Bates won." Nah, they gonna get out there and still compete, and they probably gonna start, you know, get a younger kicker and develop him on practice squad just in case something happened to Bates or his confidence gets shook or whatever. So they gonna probably keep a kicker on the practice squad for sure. You know, I know, I don't know, end up where I don't know where Matt Prater, Prater when he got cut. And then you had that other kicker from the Broncos, McMan was it McManus? Got in some trouble? Got an allegation? Well, we know allegations. A lot of that shit just be alley lives. <laughs> well, no alibis. So you never know. So he could have did it. His career could be over with. But we've seen guys like Trevor Bowers get accused of something that he didn't even do. Sometimes when you a public figure and you got money, you become a target. She's speeding up here and don't even see the police right here on the phone. He on the phone. So, but they gonna make they gonna make Bates earn that job, and they gonna keep one in the chamber. Yep, they gonna keep one in the chamber. They gotta keep a development kick. When you got somebody as inexperienced as young as Bates, even bad. You gotta keep somebody in the chamber, and unfortunately, he got a bad break. He could have been his breakout training camp battle. He got experience. He wasn't a bad kicker. You can get better kicking. 
get more power, get more accuracy work on all of that. But when he kicked, I just didn't feel confident in it. Kind of the same thing with that Patterson guy that got from Jacksonville. Kind of didn't feel confident. You know? So, but, uh, the Bates definitely got the leg. For sure, for sure. He definitely got a cannon for a leg, so going to be very interesting to see how how they play it and how they lay it, how they lay it and play it with him. So, but they getting somebody to compete with them, and then the loser probably going to develop on the practice squad. The only bad thing about the practice squad, if you ain't on the 53-man roster, anybody can sign you off the practice squad. So, that's the thing about it. So, you know, Bashley future with the Lions, I can't call it. He may heal and come back and compete next year or, you know, join somebody else. But that's a bad break. Tore your hamstring kicking. That's crazy. Maybe he was lifting weights. Maybe he was stretching it to him. But you never really know. And then you always, you know, one thing about getting a punter position, as a punter, you always want to have the ability to be able to kick field goals a little bit. You know? So I think the punter should be working on his kicking skills too, shit. Just in case something happened in the game. Just in case something happened in the game, so. But, um, but yeah, it's probably Bates' job to lose. But we know with kickers, it can go real left real quick. We know that, it can go real left real quick. But he a fan favorite, he got a fan in me. And um, I look forward to, you know, hopefully get some stiff competition because that's going to build character and that's going to build him to be a better football player. So, yeah, kicker can make and break the team. For years, Skip Bayless hate the kicker. He said the kicker should be eliminated. Now, I'm going to go that far. You say the kicker should be eliminated? Absolutely not. I think one of the greatest rule changes since the turn of the century of 2000, I don't know them all, but most of them are regression. Most, especially in football, most of them are regression. I regress, I regress the game. But what I will say, one of the greatest rule changes I've seen was moving the extra extra point back to uh, back to the was it to the thirty nine? Whatever that was, one of the greatest rule changes of all time. They scored a touchdown and they got to kick the extra point. It was like a ninety eight point seven percent chance of them winning the game. They moved to the 30, all oh, that shit cut down. It's probably like 80. That make all the difference in the world. That was one of the greatest rule changes in sports history. One of the times the idiot ass NFL got it right. But check out the Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Hit the link tree. Uh, check me out on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Memo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Spotify. Pray for me as I try to get to 275. I took the I took the quick way, but I know I'm a fucking regret it. But hey, peace.